Well, I went to Scotland the other day and I saw a girl there and she was Scottish. Hey there! Welcome to Funny Side Up! I'm Lisa, your host. Last week you voted for which royal woman should I cook for? And the winner of that poll is Mary, Queen of Scots. Mary, Queen of Scots was a monarch in 16th century Europe. She was born Mary Stuart on December 8, 1542. Six days after she was born, her father died and she became queen. The infant queen, just a little baby. She had a pretty dramatic life, actually. Lots of death and drama. I wanted to make her something warming, something pleasant. Not to mention the fact that during 16th century royal times, breakfast was often skipped. It wasn't a big meal, you know. Today we will be making the national breakfast dish of Scotland, porridge. Fit for a queen by using quinoa, barley, and a variety of other additions. Let's just get started. Here I have a half a cup of red quinoa. They're edible seeds and they are like a superfood. They've got so many amino acids and protein. They're gluten free and really easily to digest. What? Really easy to digest. The second grain we'll be using is barley. Mm. Sometimes barley is used to make beer. Other times people just eat it. Hot. Then we need some liquid, of course. I'm going to use a cup of almond milk, mainly because that's what I had in my fridge, but almond milk is super delicious. One cup of water. We'll simply bring this up to a boil. Now, according to Scottish tradition, they're serious about their porridge. They actually have a world porridge making championship. You have to use something called a spurtle which I don't have. You can take a wooden spoon and not use the spoon part of it and just use this bottom part of it. So I'm just gonna give this a stir to make sure that, I don't know, it's all incorporated in there. Okay, so the mouse timer is telling us that it is just about ready. Our grains are cooked and ready to go. We can just keep it on low heat while we do this. First we'll add any combination of dried fruit that you so desire. Here I've got about a quarter cup worth of dried currants and raisins, golden raisins. Stir those in with our fake spurtle. A teaspoon of cinnamon. And at this point I'm also going to add a little bit more liquid. So about half a cup of almond milk. Oh, that smells delicious. And we'll finally add some honey to sweeten it up. Just like that, the porridge is complete. We're ready to serve it to the queen, who's just about waking. morning and the queen is about to walk in so I better kneel. I'm Mary, Queen of Scots. I don't really know what's customary for the Queen of Scotland. Just waking up really. Good morning to you most royal Queen of Scots. Good morning Lisa. You look absolutely lovely today. Thou shall not think of me as a queen but simply as your friend. I know that you're not accustomed to having a good, healthy breakfast, and so I thought it might be beneficial to you to try one. Quite a bit early, and as Mary Queen of Scots, I've got a lot of opinion and a lot of say. So if I like this, I might say... Good. So what do you think? The different textures. The almonds are... Oh, goodness, they're crunchy, all right. I feel like I could go storm a country and keep
kill some people who are trying to make my life livingly miserable and bad. You should be called Mary Quinoa of Scots, <laughs> you know? I think my job here is done. Thank you so, so much for coming. I think I might ask you to live in Scottish land with me for the rest of time. Okay. Well, that's the show, folks. I'll see you next week when I cook for your favorite TV character. Go to thefunnysideup.com to vote.